Hello people, so today I asked if anyone would be interested in a quick particle tips and tricks video. Ivar said and everybody agreed that I should just go ahead with it. So here we are. I'm just going to show you a snippet of an expression that was that is from the old days of FX Guide. So we start uh, with a clean slate. I'm just going to create a color source which is going to be our uh, image that we want to uh, play around with. So I'm going to create color bars with it and I'm going to create an action and just add this surface as a layer. So the first thing is I turn this mat off because I want to show how to make this uh, image disintegrate. So using the particle system you either emit from a surface from a light or from a geometry. When you emit from a surface, the particles are created uh, directly from the geometrical uh, surface of this image. If you're emitting uh, from a light, it's from a point source. And if it's a geometry, you're emitting from its vertices or its vertices plus it's the middle of its polygon. So we're creating a particle system uh, from a surface now. I just go ahead and add a particle generator. The first thing I do when I'm playing around with particle generators is I turn this regenerate all. So whatever change I make to the parameters, I directly see the, uh, the result. So let's hide this image because we want to see only the particles. And if I press play, I see a tiny, teeny bits of particles. So I want more. I want like 25,000. Okay. So you barely see the uh, color bar. So let me animate this parameter because in the first frame, I want to create 25,000 of them. And on the second frame, I don't want to generate anymore. So when I press play, you just see lines coming towards me for 30 frames because their lifetime should be a thousand frames just for the sake of it. So if I press play, the particles that were generated from the surface go past the camera and we're here. So now I want to see squares. This is this parameter here is for the viewport rendering of the particles and this parameter is for the renderer output for the particles. So I'm going to create squares, even if I want to render it. And I'm going to set their speed to zero. Now, um, in the old days of FX Guide, we had a page from uh, the good guys at FX Guide uh, with several uh, particle expression setups. So you would load a particle animator connected to the particle generator. You would go to its type and choose function. And the one on the FX guide is this one. Okay, so it is this guy here. So we got the speed of the particle and we multiply it by 0 0.95. So we're slowing down the particle with each consecutive frame. And we're adding a turbulence to it depending on the frame number and its position and well you don't need to know the exact math of how it works but uh, you will get a feel of how it works so when we look at uh, the result we press play and we're not seeing anything because somehow this went through okay there so whenever you want to do, you want to make a change to this expression to play around with the values, you would need to go in there and uh, change every value manually. But if you, instead of 0 0.95, I will use these parameters as variables. Okay, so instead of 0 0.95, I say I'm going to write there min speed. So 
this is going to read whatever value is in min speed numerical bar here. Keep in mind that the M in min speed is in lowercase and S is uppercase. That's the way the cookie crumbles. So, and also for this 20, we could use the magnitude parameter as a variable, magnitude. And for the 0 0.01 here, I'm going to use power. Okay, so everything is set, but to have the same values, I need to put 0.95, sorry, 0.95, and this should be 0 0.01, and the magnitude should be 20. So we're getting the same output. Now, if I want to make the, uh, the eddies, the the turbulence pattern smaller, I need to make this number a little bit bigger. So now you see that we're having s smaller turbulence patterns. And if I make this ev even lower, 0 0.005, it's not going to show here, it's going to just show zero, but believe me, it's there. So we have now bigger flows and eddies or turbulence patterns. And if you want to make your particles a little more slow, let's put 0 point, uh, 0 0.8 there and press play. You have a more molasses kind of feeling to it. So you should play around with these values. The nice um, numbers would be 0 0.5 to 0 0.97 for the uh, minimum speed parameter here. If you enter a value bigger than 1, let's say 1.01 .01 or 0 0.3, they're going to get, the particles are going to get faster, faster, faster and just explode off into space. So we want to keep them under control. And for the power here, I'm going to go to the basically the same number. So this is good, but if you want to add, let's say, a gravity to these, let's add another particle animator. And this is going to be a gravity type animator, so it should be a free uh, on the rotation. So I don't want to get this uh, manipulator into the position hierarchy that is driven by this axis. So, let's crank these values up. Do they go down? Well, a little bit. But it's really tough to control this. So if we go back to the normal answers, we see a little bit movement. So to get a better feeling and everything done in the same uh, particle manipulator, I sometimes add here a small value of vector. Since we are adding the speed with itself, so I'm going to add zero on the x direction. This is going to be a vector, comma, max speed, comma, zero. And I put a plus sign here. So here I'm going to play around with the max speed parameter, which is a variable for me now, and I put minus one. So this little bit here is going to add a value, uh, speed value in the minus one direction. It should. Oh, there you go. So it's negative five. 
Oh no, okay, my mistake. So if you, if I want to make it go in the negative direction, then I add the minus here. So one is going to go down because I have negative value here. Oh. Weird. There you go. So if you put a zero here, nothing changes. You could of course enable this one and use the gravity parameters as well. So that's it for tonight. Bye bye.